tired of y'all playing in fat people's face. I'm tired of y'all playing in our faces. Just because I'm big doesn't mean I'm ugly. And I don't give a f what society think. Put me in next to anybody and I'm eating them up. Like, just because I'm big doesn't mean I'm pretty. I'm really that big, so stop playing on my phone. Like, we, we gotta start being serious. Y'all gotta stop equating fat with ugly. Hey guys, I'm gonna start a series called Fanita's Fat Chronicles, uh, where I talk about things I've learned since losing weight. But first, let's get into the body. Let's get into the body. I'm getting Mrs. Incredible today. I'm not gonna lie, this little BBL jacket is doing everything she needs to do. And since we're on the topic of my body and y'all keep putting gastric bypass in all my search agents, let's talk about my body. So I've lost over 100 pounds. Oh my God! Yes, I used to be 100 pounds heavier and now I used to be really, really overweight. Okay, so since losing weight, I, found, I find one thing particularly funny and I also, society and the fat phobia is so deep in our world that I knew these things would happen before I had my weight loss surgery. Like I was having these conversations with my friends and the fears that I had about losing weight. You can ask all my friends, we talk about it. But one of my main things is I felt like people we're gonna start taking me more seriously the more I lose weight. Which by that, I mean, back in the day when I was fat as I could say anything to y'all and y'all would get in the comments and gas it. Now, mind you, if you've been following me from the beginning till now, you see my personality has not changed at all. This is how I've always acted. But for the people that are coming in now, they think I'm mean. Everybody that's watching my content now think I'm mean as But Two years ago, or even goddamn six months ago, if I and I have said this shit before, if I came on the internet and said, all you big ugly, I'm prettier than all of you, I don't know how y'all breathe the same air as me. All y'all would get in the comment being like, yeah, Nina, you're so gorgeous, you're so cute, yeah, and all that shit was fake. And I know it was fake, and that's okay, because you are fake. Society is fake, you guys are fat phobic. Y'all have to make the fat girl feel confident. All right, guys, so we gotta talk about probably one of the most hilarious and savage comedic fatalities that I've ever seen in my life, okay? I have not witnessed a comedic fatality like this in a long, long, long time, okay? And I got to give you guys a little bit of background on this video that we're going to react to, which is about body shaming, because we know that there is a double standard between men and women when it comes to body shaming. Like, for example, we can't talk about women and how they look at all right or else you're a misogynist sexist bigot okay but women are allowed to judge men in regards to how they look all day long okay and the hypocrisy here is going to um be very 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 prevalent in this exchange between a plus size influencer by the name of Fanita. now i don't know that much about Fanita outside of the fact that She's a plus size influencer. Maybe she's like a wannabe comedian, but she has a podcast and she lost a lot of weight. And I'm assuming she lost a lot of weight because she was conscious about her weight. She was conscious about being really overweight, right? And uh, she's doing this podcast. She's having a conversation with this guy named Zach Justice. Now, again, I don't know that much about him, but he's an actor um he has a podcast himself and they're having basically a back and forth kind of like sarcastic like humor conversation where they're kind of like going at each other like they're roasting each other right but it's like you know slight comments here and there right it's more sarcastic than anything but again they're they're kind of roasting each other <laughs> right and there's one point in the conversation where it kind of gets a little bit serious because Fanita is going to talk about this guy, Zach Justice, who's who's white. She's going to talk about his lips. And she's basically going to try to shame him for his lips or lack of lips. And he had the most savage clapback possible uh, towards this woman. And he literally silenced and humbled her in a way that I have not seen in a long, long time long time take a look um have you had any other pregnancy scares no is this the first one you've ever gotten pregnant uh yeah that i know about yeah because usually i have this clause where i didn't have her sign the nda that's where i went wrong yeah this no i've definitely had more but usually they don't speak about it mm -hmm. yeah sorry about that did that kind of ruin the show 
No, like, um, I just think it looks like, like it makes me look at you a little bit differently because, like, yeah, I know we've been kind of like having like this tit for tat, like dry, like conversation. Yeah, but I was kind of feeling you, but like just knowing that like a white woman in a teal leotard is going to be your baby mama. Is She's white. Like, I mean, I don't see color, so I couldn't tell. Ally. Um, I love gay people and black people and Asian people. And Native American people and Pacific Middle Islanders. I love Pacific Islanders. I love Middle Eastern people. And this is people. no particular order. No, I rank. I rank. I okay. love black people more than anybody else. Uh, what's second? Ah, that's tougher to say, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's tougher to say, isn't it? You know what? Your mouth kind of reminds me of like a person from Whoville that's because fine. you like lip is not there. Well, I can't like, help that. No, no, you can't. But like, it's just like who body shaming's ask. fine until it's all about the weight, right? Goodness, here come the comments. <sighs> so I heard you pee a lot. <laughs> Yo, that clip gets me every time. <laughs> Yo, yo, I'm dying today, bro. I am dying, okay? There's a lot of comedic relief in the videos today, okay? Um, that right there was exactly what we're talking about when we talk about the double standard when it comes to men and women in this conversation about body shaming. Because like I told you guys before, and like you saw at the beginning of this video, this girl... Um, clearly is self-conscious about her weight, right? She's self-conscious that she is very overweight, okay? Uh, to the point where uh, she got surgery, okay? I'm assuming <laughs> gastric bypass in order to lose weight, right? She didn't do it the good old-fashioned way, right? She didn't, um, you know, exercise, diet, you know, take the right supplements or whatever, right? She didn't do any of that, <laughs> right? She... I, you know, did it the easy way, right? She took the easy way out, right? She got surgery. And despite getting this surgery and losing weight, okay, she's still so self-conscious about her weight and the way that she looks. And you can tell she's still accusing people of being fat phobic simply for the difference between how she's being treated now that she's lost some weight, even though she's still plus size. I mean, come on. She's acting like she ain't plus size no more. She's just not... <laughs> She's just not super plus size, right? She went from she went from a, she went from a two XL to just the XL. <laughs> and so, so I, I just say she's saying that because she lost some weight, people are now treating her differently, right? Because you know she's always been the same person, and since she lost weight. She made comments about how she doesn't think that everybody's beautiful, right? I, I, she said, I don't think that everybody's beautiful um, on the outside. What is your hot take? This is going to sound really mean, but I promise I'm not a mean girl, even though some people think I am. I don't think everyone's beautiful. Listen. I don't. Wait, I, tell me. And that. I think we need to stop lying. I think, I think we need to stop. Like, some people are ugly and that's fine. Like, oh, some people are and that's okay. Like, not everybody's meant to be, like, attractive. Like, some people aren't aesthetically pleasing to look at. And that's just a fact. And I'm sorry. I'm tired of, like, everyone's beautiful. Like, I think everybody's beautiful on the inside or has the potential to be beautiful on the, out, like, on the inside. But I feel like not everyone's beautiful on the outside. And I'll die on this hill. <laughs> yeah. So that's what she said, and she's woke, so her audience is woke, and her woke audience turned on her because she basically uh, said everybody's not be beautiful, okay? And she's saying that, well, you're fat phobic because when I was fat and I was saying stuff like that, you guys loved it because I was fat, but now <laughs> I lost weight. Um, you know, now you guys don't like when I say stuff like that. And the irony here is that <laughs> when this woman was fat, she was the same person complaining about people equating being fat with ugly, right? Like I showed you guys at the beginning of this video, right? Now all of a sudden <laughs> she lost some weight. And then she's like, well, I don't think that, you know, everybody's beautiful. Why is people running around saying that everybody's beautiful, blah, 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 right? Like, you know, it's okay, you know, some people are just ugly, and it's like, okay, well, 
you know, hey, I don't necessarily agree, agree, disagree with this opinion, but it ain't the same opinion that she had when she was fat, right? She had an issue uh, with people equating fatness with being ugly, right? Now, she's lost a little bit of weight. She's a brand new person. So she, she got backlash for that, right? And that is why... Um, again, she's, she's calling people fat phobic, right? People are fat phobic. Okay. So again, clearly this woman is self-conscious about her weight and, um, it shows up here in this conversation because she tries to body shame this white male, uh, about his lips, right? First, she tried to shame him about getting a white woman pregnant. That's what they was talking about and how the fact that she didn't like that. Okay, apparently she doesn't really like white people. She has a literal, literal hierarchy of races that she likes the best. She likes black people the best, which would make her a racist, right? I mean, I'm just saying. And again, the white guy responds with some comedic relief, basically saying that he loves everybody. And then again, she randomly starts talking about his lips, saying that he doesn't have any lips, saying that he looks like a character from Whoville, which is a common kind of... Um, I guess stereotype of white people, like physical stereotype of white people, how white people don't have any lips. And then he just drops this bomb on her where he says, yeah, body shame is all fine and good until it comes to weight, right? Once you start talking about weight, <laughs> now people get their feelings hurt, right? Which was the perfect clap back. It was the perfect clap back in that situation because, um, yeah, her feelings would be hurt, right? If somebody said that she was fat or that she was ugly because she was fat, she'd probably, you know, melt down over it, right? Have a fit, right? Accuse people of fat phobia. But she can freely talk about a man's features, right? And, and not just talk about his features because he's a man, but also because he's white and how he doesn't have any lips, okay? Uh, even though, you know, he was born the way that he was born, that's totally fine, right? It's totally fine, to talk about that, that's fair game, right? But when it comes to talking about her and her weight, oh, she's hurt, right? You're fat phobic, okay? Uh, it's just, again, amazing the double standards that we have in society, especially between men and women when it comes to the whole body positive or the body positivity movement, right? Uh, you can't say anything about a woman's body, right? But a woman can freely judge a man based off his height, his penis size, right? Uh, you know, any of his physical features that a man has, a woman is free to judge and also be selective about it, right? She's free to say, hey, well, I don't want to date you because, you know, you're not this tall, okay? But if a man, you know, shames a woman in any way whatsoever, especially if a man talks about a woman's sexual body parts in any way, oh man, right? He's a misogynist, he's a sexist, you know, he's a terrible person. He's a terrible individual. Again, that's just kind of how it goes, right? But again, you know, if this white guy was to say something like, for example, you know, white people are my favorite people, right? And I don't have, you know, anybody else below that, right, in regards to my favorite people, he'd be shamed as a racist, okay? But she can freely and openly say, well, you know, black people are my favorite people, and I don't really like anybody else like that, Um and again, it's totally fine, right? People kiki, ha ha, it's just comedy. I I'm not sure if white people have the same room to say those things. So again, this video right here bought out so many kind of double standards that we have in society in regards to, you know, gender, you know, body shaming, uh, race, okay? Um, it, it really is a pretty fascinating clip um, that I find to be absolutely hilarious. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.